Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levin coming at you with another video. What I would like to talk to you about in this video is what you see behind me. The Hebrew Olivet. More than ever, we need to embrace we need to have a desire to learn our language. The Hebrew, also known as the language of creation. So before we could get caught up in reading and speaking the language, we have to first get familiar with the letters that make them so. One thing about the Hebrew, it has more power, more significance than the English. Because we see with the Hebrew, not only do the letters have a symbolic meaning based off of its shape, but it also has a nu uh, numerical equivalent. In the English, it is not so with the English alphabet. But with the Hebrew, the letters carry multiple meanings. So let us start with the very first letter of the Hebrew or the Ibrit. Right here, let me come to you this way so you can better see it. This letter here is the Aleph. The Aleph. Some say it has the A sound, but according to how I have been taught, the olive is silent. I know some of you may find that kind of hard to um, understand or believe, but later on in our journey, it will you will have you will get a better understanding. The second letter. First of all, let me get back to the olive. The olive is silent, is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It carries a, a numerical equivalent to the number one. Aleph carries the numerical equivalent to the number one. The second letter is bait. Bait. The English equivalent is B. The numeral equivalence is two. The third letter is Gamel. Gamel. The English equivalent is G. And the numeral equivalent is three. The next letter. The Dalit. Dalit. The English equivalent is the letter D. The numeral value is the number four. The next letter is the Hay. The Hay. That is the, Engl the um, English equivalent to that is the letter H. The numeral value is the number five. The next letter is the wav. The wav. The um, English equivalent is w, w, and many will say that it's V. The numeral equivalent, the numeral uh, equivalent to the wav is the number six. The next letter is the Zion. The English equivalent is Z. The numeral equivalent is the number seven. The next letter is the ket or het. The English equivalent to that will be the CH or the KH. The numeral equivalent to that is eight. The next letter is tet, tet. The English equivalent to that is the letter T. The numeral equivalent 
is the number eight. The next letter is the yod. The yod. The English equivalent to the yod is the y. The numeral equivalent is 10. The next letter is cough. Cough. That is the KH. Some say CH. And the um, numeral equivalent to that is 20. The last letter on this side is Lamed. Lamed. That the English equivalent to Lamed is the L. And the numeral equivalent is 30. Now, to this side. The letter here is mem, mem. And the English equivalent to the mem is m. The numerical equivalent is 40. The next letter is noon. The English equivalent to noon is the letter n. And the um, numeral equivalent to the noon is the number 50. The next letter is summit, summit. The English equivalent is the letter S. And the numerical value is 60. The next letter is the iron, iron. It is silent, just like the olive that we met from the very beginning. The numeral equivalent to the iron is 70. The next letter is the pay, the pay. The um, English equivalent is the letter P. Now let me say this again, let me start over. It's the pay or fay. The English equivalent is the P and the F. The numeral equivalent is the letter 80, the number 80. The next letter is the sabe. Asabi. Um, that is the in the um, English it will be like a T Z or a T S, and the numeral equivalent to that is ninety. The next letter is the Kuf or Kof. That in the English equivalent is K, and also it could be Q. The numeral equivalent is the number one hundred. The next letter is the race, the race. The English equivalent to the race is the R. And the numeral equivalent is 200. The next letter is the shin or the sin. And the only way you can tell the difference, which I do not have here at this moment, is where you will see a dot. It will be either on the left or the right. On the next chart that I would do, um, I will represent that more properly than what I did here because I forgot to put the dogs, the dots, on either the left or the right to let you know. But it still carries the same, like a dot on the right will give you the CH, I mean the SH, the sh, sh, give you the SH sound. But if you move the dot, to the left, it would be the S. So the um, dot on the right is SH. The dot on the left is the S. But it has the same numerical equivalent, which is 300. And as they say, last but not least, this letter here is the tau, tau. Some people say um, it carries the T sound and also the TH sound. And the numerical equivalent to the tile is 100. So there you have it. That is the introduction to the 22 letters of the Hebrew 
all that thing. So that is all I wanted to share at this time. The next time we will go over the nickel dope or the vowel pointing system of the Hebrew. We will do a quick refresher of the Alephet. And then we will go into the Nicodope, the vowel pointing system. So until next time, Shalom.